Some new federal gun rules go into effect later this week, targeting untraceable firearms. They often call them ghost guns. The feds hope that the new rules are going to be combating the use of these guns in violent crimes. But as CBS News and I team reporter Brian New found, these new rules have sparked a fire sale. Brian is live in Dallas with what we should know. Hey, Brian. Hey, so ever since these new ATF rules were announced in April, there's been a rush to sell off these soon to be regulated gun parts. And now that we're just hours away from this new rule going into effect, there's a push that feds are worried could lead to more ghost guns out on the streets. With a click and a credit card, anyone in Texas can buy a kit. Then with a drill in about 30 minutes, just about anyone can make themselves a gun. These homemade firearms are just like ones from a manufacturer, except these guns have no serial numbers and require no background check. They're ghost guns, and for Arlington Police Chief Al Jones, they're a problem. Think about this. People who shouldn't have guns like the felons, uh, the people who are committing domestic violence, uh, and, and uh, people that have some type of mental history, they can go online and buy these guns right off the Internet. We have to figure out how do we change that. On Wednesday, new federal rules go into effect requiring unfinished gun frames or receivers, like the ones you would find in a kit, to be licensed, meaning they must have a serial number and a background check must be completed before a sale. Since 2016, the number of ghost guns recovered by law enforcement from crime scenes has exploded nationwide a thousand percent. The numbers are also up in North Texas. Police departments in Arlington, Louisville, and Dallas all told us they've recovered more ghost guns this year than ever before. In fact, Dallas police say they have recovered three times as many ghost guns from crime so far this year than they did in all of 2020. We are starting to see more and more. Despite the increase, Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia says ghost guns still make up a tiny fraction of the firearms his officers recover. It's less than half of a percentage point. Uh, and so here we have violent crime and shootings that are being committed uh, at, a, at a larger rate and a larger percentage with weapons that have been already legally manufactured. Chief Garcia says the new federal rules may not make a huge impact on gun violence in Dallas, but says every little bit helps. Many Texas gun owners believe these new rules will not help at all. I don't think you're going to see a reduction in crime because of what they're doing. Wes Vertle is the Texas director for the gun rights organization Gun Owners of America. He says the new federal rules on ghost guns will result in more paperwork for gun owners, but will do little to stop criminals. He says felons wanting an untraceable gun will still be able to print their own guns using a 3D printer or can simply scratch out a serial number on an existing gun. Gun laws only work for law-abiding citizens. Uh, criminal, if they want to do something, they're going to do it anyways. And I think that people are still going to make the ghost guns afterwards. Uh, they're just going to push it into a black market is what they'll do. In the meantime, the fire sale continues as online gun part retailers count down the hours until the new federal rules take effect. And that does happen on Wednesday, but here in Texas, you'll still legally be able to buy one of those gun kits. However, come Wednesday, that receiver part of the gun is going to have to have a serial number on it, and you will have to complete a background check to buy one, just as you would with any other firearm purchase. Doug Nicole, Texas is one of 17 states, along with the gun owners of America, that have filed a lawsuit against the Biden administration over these rules. It is unclear whether that judge on the case will rule on that case before Wednesday. Brian, something we'll be watching, and thank you so much for a lot of good information there. Thank you.